First of all, I'd just like to say thank you for coming out to speak with us and not at us and to learn from us rather than lecture us. I think that we can all appreciate that kind of interaction. Um, my question is... But thankfully in Canada, we have Pierre Polyev. And he put out this video today that I wanted to share with you guys because it really touched me. And this is how I want to end a hope. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you for coming out to speak with us and not at us and to learn from us rather than lecture us. I think that we can all appreciate that kind of interaction. Um, my question is, uh, I mean, you've got my vote for sure, 100%. I've been telling all my friends about you and trying to steer them towards it because I really do appreciate your common sense approach and your, and your platform, which I don't know why some people don't believe it exists. I hear you talk about it in question period every day, but um, is your... It seems to be very numbers driven, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's good to have a guy that can balance a checkbook in, in power, but looking to the future, the, the issues that really scare me are like, like social and cultural issues. It seems that we're, you know, divided so heavily along these cultural lines that just sort of happen to the very edges fit into our political landscape. How do you plan to communicate the platform that you're bringing forward to the country in such a way that you can unite? the cultural aspects of the issues that are, that are coming your way because I feel as if no matter what you do, no matter how good your plan is, we're going to be racist and bigots if we support the Conservative Party and I don't see a way forward for the country if you can't get ahead of that and unite everybody around the cultural issues along with the economic issues which you have a very firm and solid grasp on. How do we put the pieces back together? Uh, the answer is freedom. Now, here's what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah. When Wilfrid Laurier was asked, what is Canada's nationality 100 years ago, and he couldn't answer based on uh, the way most national leaders could. If you had been in Europe, you would have answered based on ethnicity uh, or religion. You know, from France, you would have said French. In England, you would have said English. But in Canada, we were already mixed up. We had, obviously, the first peoples. We had French, English. We had Scots, Irish. Germans, we even had Asian peoples who were here at that time. And so he couldn't answer based on race or gender or ideology or any of those things. He said, Canada is free and freedom is its nationality. And that's why Protestants and Catholics gouged each other's eyes out for centuries in Europe. And then they came to Canada and lived peacefully. Why? Because Catholics were able to worship freely. Protestants were able to worship freely. And the, the times in our history where we have made mistakes and where we have done wrong has, become, has been when the government has, you, has become too powerful and has taken away the freedom and the autonomy of the people. In every instance, all the historical wrongs in our history are the result of government using excessive force and power over the population. But by restoring freedom, we allow each individual, each group, each family, each community to live the lives that they choose to live. And in so doing, there's no reason to fight because everyone can do what they believe right. My purpose in politics is not to take power, but to give it back. To have a small government with big citizens. To, my, to have a government, if I were to start a new political party from scratch, it would be called the Mind Your Own Damn Business Party. Yes. So the government does its job, which is to provide roads and schools and hospitals and national security, protect the, the environment, and then let people live their lives, make their own decisions, think their own thoughts, spend their own money, worship God in their own way, express their own values with their own words. I am not here to run your life. I'm not even here to run a, gov or a country. I'm here to run a government that does a few things well rather than a lot of things poorly and allows free people to live and prosper and fulfill their full potential. That is my purpose. Let's make it happen. Let's bring it home. Hey, hey.